Hello, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. This message is for you. Happy birthday, Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season. Um, when I was meditating on your energies, I was actually seeing the Three of Cups a lot in, in my meditation. So I feel like you're being supported. The people are coming around you. Um, they're showing you a lot of love and support. They are. There may be celebrations in your near future going on, um, which is very obvious since this is Scorpio season. This is your time, Scorpio. Um, I'm also feeling like you're going through a transition, and with all of these. Uh, there, there's two major eclipses in your season. I believe we're going to be going through another one on the 7th of November. Forgive me if that date is incorrect, but yeah, I, I think it's the 7th. Uh, your overall energy is the King of Cups. <clears throat> and what is crossing you? You have the Two of Swords. Okay, let's see. What is in your near past? You have the Nine of Pentacles. What is your crowning energy? You have the Hierophant. And what is your foundations? You have the Page of Pentacles in your verse. Okay, let's see. Come on, Scorpio. Let's get some messages for you. The near future, I have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Your energy is the Eight of Swords. And your environment is the magician. Okay. What about your hopes and desires? What are you hoping and desiring for at the moment? You have the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, and the overall outcome of the situation. And the fool. Wow, okay. And let's see. Let's get some clarifying cards. Okay, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands. So I'm feeling like, yeah, I, when I was meditating on your energy, I was feeling that you are, you are transitioning out of something, Scorpio. Uh, you have the King of Cups as your overall energy and the two of swords, which is crossing you. So this may be a, a energy of choices that you need to make. Um, in the near past, you have, I can't even grab that card. You have the nine of pentacles. So I feel like you are um, really looking for more stability in your life. You're looking for um, things that truly make you happy. Um, you Are you running towards your paper, Scorpio? Are you... Um, are you really transitioning into something more prosperous um, is what I'm feeling. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse in your um, 
the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I'm feeling like maybe money that you were dependent on. I didn't come through at the moment. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling like you have all the abilities to make this change. Um, and the energy that's crowning you is the Hierophant. I feel like you are... <clears throat> You are looking towards your spirit guide for guidance. I feel like you're a very spiritual person, Scorpio. I feel like you're not relying on your own abilities. I feel like you are looking towards a higher power to make these come into fruition, like you are, um, you're not just focused on your own abilities, you're focused on, on a higher power for answers. And I, 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 I'm really feeling that for you. Um, you have the seven of wands in reverse. So I'm feeling like the seven of wands, this is defending yourself, this is protecting yourself. And I, I feel like you're not doing that at the moment. And maybe you need to. I'm feeling like maybe you need to protect your emotions. Maybe you need to stand on your beliefs at the moment. Um, you need to protect yourself. And in your energy at the moment, you have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you... are trying to ground yourself in this energy of what the world sees you as. The world sees you as your environment is the magician. So the people around you see you as someone who has all the abilities, all of the capabilities, everything that you need. And I, I feel like you are not seeing yourself that way. I feel like you're holding yourself back. Like you are isolating yourself from other people for some reason. You also have the nine of wands. So I feel like you're kind of in this stuck energy at the moment. Um, but I feel like you need to push on. You need to um, maybe set new boundaries, but be persistent in what it is that you need to create, what it is you want out of life. I feel like you need to per persist on. You need to move on. You need to keep going because you have a new beginning. You have infinite possibilities here. You um, Maybe you need to take a risk on this situation and just follow your intuition. Now overall here in the clarifying energies, you have the Knight of Swords in uh, reverse. So there's some truth that you don't want to believe. I believe that you receive messages um, or someone has taken action towards you, but there's some truth that you don't want to believe and that's actually stopping you from moving on into calmer waters. I don't want you to stand in conflict because I do see the five of wands at the bottom of the deck as well. So I feel like at the moment you're looking for more stability. Um, but in order to gain that, you need to accept the truth of a situation so that you can move into those calmer waters so that you can move into more of a relaxing time. Okay, let's get some clarifying cards for this situation. But I definitely see you transitioning, um, Scorpio. I, I see you pressing on. I don't see you in this stuck energy 
for too long. I, I think that this is just a, a momentary thought that's kind of you're holding yourself back from. And you also have the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, this is something, um, once you take action, um, you're going to feel more abundant. You're going to feel more balanced. Um, I think you just need to set your priorities and take it one step at a time. But for the overall, I think that you are going to find the stability in this situation. I think you need to look towards all of your resources at the moment. I think that you're a very resourceful person, Scorpio. What is this Nine of Pentacles in the near past? What is this Nine of Pentacles? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you may have gotten an offer for a new job, and it could be that, that you are Trying to make a decision if you need to move for this job or if you need to move for this new opportunity. But with the Page of Pentacles and your foundation in the reverse, I feel like you're very reluctant to make this move. You're very reluctant to take this new job or new offer that's coming through. Yeah, you have the Five of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you're you're coming out of those feelings, though. I feel like you're going back and forth. You're going back and forth um, in your mind about this offer, whether it be love or finance or... I'm leaning more towards work because there's so many pinnacles in this reading. I'm leaning more towards work. But I, I feel like you're going back and forth with this offer. You're not quite sure if it's the right thing to do. Please tell me more about this Hierophants. Yeah, the Four of Cups. Okay, so yeah, you are definitely, you're definitely in, in your head about this, Scorpio. But I think you should look towards your higher power for answers here. The Seven of Wands. Okay, now all of these wanted to jump out. So you have the Emperor in reverse. You have the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so... With the Seven of Wands, standing on your beliefs, I believe someone's actually trying to control you. Or this is you releasing your control. Um, but I believe that you're going to be victorious in this situation. You, but you should be aware of people who are seeing your victory in this situation. Um, cause I feel like there's jealousy here. There's jealousy about what you're gaining in your life. I feel like someone is actually trying to be a fast talker in this situation. Because this... This transition 
is is life changing. And I feel like you're victorious in this situation. You're definitely being seen. You're definitely getting the rec recognition that you deserve. Um, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. I believe that you're you're moving you're moving past these emotions of holding yourself back. You're moving past these emotions. Tell me more about this magician. Tell me more about this magician. The Five of Swords. Yeah, you're very... You're not seeing yourself for having the abilities that you have. You are very um, resourceful, Scorpio. You, you have all of the abilities, but I believe that you're not seeing that. Uh, I believe that maybe someone has left you feeling less confident than you really are. What is this Nine of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune. So this is change that's going to happen. Yeah, you are transitioning. Even though you are transitioning reluctantly, it seems like. You're not wanting to push ahead. But this change is coming regardless. And I believe that this is going to be a change that is going to, it is going in your favor. This is, this is destiny. Give me some clarifiers for the fool. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you, you're caught up in disappointment, Scorpio. But you have all the abilities. See, you have moon, the moon on the bottom as well. You're not seeing things for how they really are. You're you're being you're following disappointment and untruths. And so you have the fool right here. You need to take a risk. You need to take a risk in the situation and you need to follow your new beginning um, because this change is, is coming. The, you are transitioning into something that's going to be a great change. Now you have the three of pentacles as well. So there may be moving in your near future. Yeah, you may be moving to a new location. You're expanding your ground. The King of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, I'm seeing you as a very creative person at the moment. And this change could be very well something that brings you a lot of prosperity, something that brings you a lot of wealth. A lot of contentment, a lot of happiness. So, yeah, I'm, I believe that this this transition, this change, could be exactly what you don't know that you need at this time. But uh, spirit is letting you know that you're protected and you're guided into this. And let's get some clarifying cards. I just don't want to shuffle. Let's get some clarifying cards for the situation. Yeah, you have spirit of gratitude. So that's number 43. Number 43 may be very important to you this week. Spirit is letting you know to be thankful, to show gratitude for the things that are given. And Spirit is letting you know, number 24, that it's okay to let something go. It is okay to let something go. Something needs to um, be let go during this transition. And you have number 14, a beautiful uncaging. See, so we have the key here, 
and you're being set free from a situation. And you also have the divine matrix, number 44. So you have a lot of fours in this reading. A lot of fours could be very significant. With the divine matrix, I'm feeling like that's actually very similar to the will of fortune. I feel like change is coming, that you're transitioning, that you are going through this change. I think you need to let go and let God, let the universe, let your spirit guide, whatever it is you believe in, uh, guide you through this transition in time. Get a message from your angels. Okay, these wanted to pop out really fast. Let's see. You have a star. Uh, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Yeah, that's beautiful energy, Scorpio. You also have protection. You have Ar Archangel Michael. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Yeah, so you have protection at this time too. Archangel Michael is guiding you, and you have Idriel. Uh, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all its inhabitants. Yeah, so you have divine guidance. I'm sorry, my cat is not very happy with the babies right now. I have two kittens that were abandoned that I've been kind of caring for through this time and he's going through his own transition so he's not very happy at the moment but he'll get over it okay yes Scorpio this message is for you um make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for um other messages there may be other messages there for you that'll give you clarity on your situation and um if this message has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And many blessings, Scorpio. Love and light.